Right. Here we show you how to deploy SpanKey, the RC Dev SSH key management solution. Before you can follow the steps in this video, you need to have WebADM backend running, which is the RC Dev's core identity and access management platform. The WebADM must also host at minimum the following three applications the SpanKey application server itself, the OpenOTP multi factor authentication server, and the user self service web application. You can find all these pre-configured RC Devs VM found in the www.rcdevs.com slash downloads. Once these are in place, you can start managing SSH keys on your Linux host running OpenSSH. To do this, you must first connect your Linux host with SpanKey backend. This is done by planting an agent on the host. And the agent is called the SpanKey client, and you can again download it from the rcdevs.com downloads. Simply install the RPM. Once that completes, Launch the agent setup wizard by running spanky underscore setup. The wizard will prompt you for your spanky backend location. Please note that you can also automate this task with your usual host management tools such as Puppet. Okay, that's all there is to deploying a host. With an agent running on our sample host, all SSH key based logins will now be controlled by spanky, as well as distribution of keys. Which now that's mentioned, let's walk through how that goes. We also didn't get to see how easily SpanKey can link AD and LDAP accounts with ones in Linux, or even create them dynamically, like here. So for sake of an example, let's create a new AD user through our usual Active Directory users and computers MMC Snap-in. We'll fill in the usual details, username, login name, and password. As such, not relevant as to how a SpanKey will work. Right. Now that's done, we'll go inside the SpanKey backend management UI, the earlier mentioned WebADM. Since our WebADM is already joined to the domain, we can see all the same objects as we saw in the MMC snapping and our previously created demo user. If we wanted to, we could have created a demo account through the web-based WebADM as well. Anyway, here's the user with all the details of a display. To let SpanKey use our AD account or our AD account use SpanKey, how you like word it, we'll need to activate it once. There. Now, here comes one cool aspect of SpanKey. SpanKey can automatically bridge AD accounts to Linux. We only need to permit this once per every user. In case of our demo account, we do this manually by choosing AD account from add extension dropdown. Then type in username in Linux and choose the preferred login shell. Again, this all could be automated, for example, as a batch run. So, now our demo AD account is all ready and SpanKey will be able to enforce and provide all SSH key management capabilities to it. One useful function being generation and distribution of a new key pair. Key pair generation could be fully integrated into an existing workflow tool, but we'll show how it's done right in our self services. So we connect as our first AD demo user. Then select the SSH from top menu bar under which we find generate SSH key. And again, the whole look of the self service can be adjusted to however preferred, to include, for example, just one button, generate key pair, and nothing else. So we just go with the default and click register. This will tie the public key with our AD demo account. Last step is to choose the private key format. Let's take the ever so common putty. Okay, and now comes the really nice piece. Now we can connect to any of our Linux host with this key as our demo user. Of course, in normal life, you would want to add access controllers as to where I could connect with this key. This we could now just do with AD group memberships and by adding a key and host as well as application constraints to those groups. But for sake of an example, let's just now connect to the Linux host that we deployed with the agent. And here's the first private key we want to use for that. Click open, add in our AD demo username, and we're inside. We didn't even need to create the AD account mapping, home directories or anything. SpanKey did that all on our behalf, automatically. As a last piece in our video tutorial, we dive a little bit under the hood and look at what just happened. In our Linux shell syslog, we find nodes of our login. There we see how agent authorizes the login at SpanKey backend, and as that's the first login, the user agent creates the home directory and the other needed files. While in our SpanKey backend logs, we see how the Linux account is resolved to the real AD account and login authorized and public key returned back to the agent.